Hey everyone, it's 1 p.m. on Tuesday, July 8th, 2014, and I'm mailing some letters, so I'm going to get a record of these before they go out into the mail. Uh, I certainly uh, am not sure whenever I send something via the post office if it's going to get to its destination. Sometimes there are weird hang-ups. So what I'm sending here is uh, a little USB drive. You can see it is very small. Here's my thumb to uh, give you a comparison. And this is something that I'll be sending to the host of the Angel Clark show, Angel Clark. And uh, it's a Tails USB drive. So it's Tails Linux. That stands for the Amnesiac Incognito Linux system? I, th I don't think that's correct. Linux something. And um, it is, f well, I I'm not exactly sure, but if you go to tailslinux.com, uh, you can see how it works. I've been using this for several months, and uh, they release a new version every couple of weeks or so uh, with improvements, upgrades, fixing bugs, making it more secure. What does it do? So you plug this into any computer and you can boot up from it. So any computer that lets you boot from a USB drive, not all computers do. But I use them on my laptops and it seems to work on all except for my MacBook Pro. So not a big deal uh, whenever I want to browse the internet anonymously through, tail, uh, through Tor. Uh, this makes it very easy. So, you know, anyone who wants to use the internet anonymously can do so using Tor, but it takes some configuring, and I'm not an expert with stuff like that. So, what the people did at Tails has made it really easy. So, you plug it in, you boot from this, and then you open up your computer in a completely different operating system. And it's not running from the hard drive, it's only running from this. So it uses only your cache, you know, random access memory, and uh, nothing from your hard drive. Nothing is written to your hard drive. In addition to not using your hard drive, Tails Linux only connects to the internet through Tor. So it does all that configuring for you. You don't have to do anything. When you boot up and you connect to the internet, it already routes your connection through that virtual private network. So it makes it very easy to browse the internet anonymously and to um, make sure that whatever computer you're using doesn't leave some sort of imprint uh, of, of your history or what you were doing on it. Uh, you can also use other programs through other USB drives like TrueCrypt if you want to save something so you don't want to have it completely wiped. Um, but shutting down is just as easy. It wipes everything. Um, you just do a, a hit the power button and if, whoop, you'll see it, it shuts down real quick. So that's very nice. Tails, Linux, go get it. It's free. You, if you have a spare USB drive lying around, all you need is one that's got like four gigs and uh, that should be enough. Keep it in your pocket and you can browse the internet anonymously no matter where you are. Very cool tool. Next, I have a letter that's going to Scott, a man at a dealership, a car dealership, who is letting me keep my car there for an extended period of time while I'm waiting for my registration plates to come in. So I'm sending him a spare key and I've got that wrapped up there. And I'm also sending a letter, you know, with all these letters, I was like, look, I've written two beautiful handwritten letters to people who are friendly, but more or less strangers to me. I better write to my grandmother. You know, I, I neglect to write her often enough. And so here is a letter that I've written to my Aunt Ricky. That's what I call her. Um, but uh, she is 96 years old, and I was just saying, hey, you know, I was on a long vacation. Sorry, I haven't been in touch. And uh, I, I was thinking of you when I was at Madison Square Garden, because that's uh, one place that we liked to go together. And I joked when I was a little kid, they shouldn't call it Madison Square Garden. They should call it Madison Round Garden, because if you look at what it actually looks like, you'll see it's round. So <laughs> whatever. Um, this is Derek J. I'm going to go mail these letters, and uh, if anything strange should happen, like they don't reach their final destination, um, well, at least I'll have some record that I sent them. Peace.